Shoulder is made up of three bones, upper arm bone called humerus, shoulder blade called scapula, and your collarbone clavicle. The head of your upper arm bone fits into a rounded socket in your shoulder blade. This socket is called the glenoid. A combination of muscles and tendons keeps arm bone centered in shoulder socket. These tissues are called the rotator cuff. They cover the head of upper arm bone and attach it to your shoulder blade. What most people call the shoulder is really these several joints that combine with tendons and muscles to allow a wide range of motion in the arm. Most shoulder problems fall into four major categories. Tendon inflammation also called bursitis or tendonitis or tendon tear. Instability. Arthritis. Fracture, broken bone. Other causes of shoulder pain is rare. Bursitis. Bursi are small fluid-filled sacs that are located in joints. They act as cushions between bones and the overlying soft tissues, and help reduce friction between the gliding muscles and the bone. Sometimes, excessive use of the shoulder leads to inflammation and swelling of the bursa between the rotator cuff and part of the shoulder blade known as the acromion. The result is a condition known as subacromial bursitis. Bursitis often occurs in association with rotator cuff tendonitis. The many tissues in the shoulder can become inflamed and painful. Many daily activities, such as combing your hair or getting dressed, may become difficult and painful. Tendinitis. A tendon is a cord that connects muscle to bone. Most tendinitis is a result of inflammation in the tendon. The condition causes pain and tenderness just outside a joint. Tendinitis can be caused by excessive ball throwing or other overhead activities during work or sport can lead to acute tendinitis. Tendon tears. Splitting and tearing of tendons may result from acute injury or degenerative changes in the tendons due to advancing age, long-term overuse, and wear and tear, or a sudden injury. These tears may be partial or may completely separate the tendon from its attachment to bone. Instability or dislocation. Shoulder instability occurs when the head of the upper arm bone is forced out of the shoulder socket. This can happen as a result of a sudden injury or from overuse. Shoulder dislocations can be partial, with the ball of the upper arm coming just partially out of the socket. This is called a subluxation. A complete dislocation means the ball comes all the way out of the socket. Arthritis. Shoulder pain can also result from arthritis. There are many types of arthritis. The most common type of arthritis in the shoulder is osteoarthritis, also known as wear and tear arthritis. Symptoms such as swelling, pain, and stiffness typically begin during middle age. Osteoarthritis develops slowly and the pain it causes worsens over time. Fracture. Fractures are broken bones. Shoulder fractures aren't very common. Shoulder fractures in older patients are often the result of a fall from standing height. In younger patients, motor vehicle accident or contact sports injury. Fractures often cause severe pain, swelling, and bruising about the shoulder. Recommendations during shoulder pain. Stay active and gently move your shoulder. Try shoulder exercises for 6 to 8 weeks to stop pain returning. Stand up straight with your shoulders down and gently back. Medications. Using painkillers like paracetamol and ibuprofen for pain. Put ice on the shoulder area for 15 minutes, then leave it off for 15 minutes. Do this 3 to 4 times a day for 2 to 3 days. Wrap the ice in cloth. Do not put ice directly on the skin because this can result in frostbite. Rest your shoulder for the next few days. Slowly return to your regular activities. A physical therapist can help you do this safely. Learn exercises to stretch and strengthen your rotator cuff tendons and shoulder muscles. A doctor or physical therapist can recommend such exercises. If you are recovering from tendonitis, continue to do range of motion exercises to avoid frozen shoulder. Practice good posture to keep your shoulder muscles and tendons in their right positions.